What's the fix long term for CalMac? Seems to be an issue of the government not investing. Benny, I was brought up with David McBrain, right? David McBrain, McBrain's for the Highlands, ran all the ferries north of the Clyde and some on the Clyde. So you had boats called after lochs, and I knew these boats intimately. The Loch Fine, the Loch Nevis, the Loch Ard, the Loch Seaford, the Loch Eel, Seaforth, the Loch Eel, the Loch Buoy, the, uh, wait a minute, no, no, there's plenty more to go. What else did I used to sail on? Uh, we said the Loch Ard. <coughs> Um, the Loch Fine and the Loch Nevis. Come on, give us some more McBrain's steamers. And it's always been a problem with money. And the government contributed and they set up a new company, David McBrain 1928 Limited, brackets, close brackets, on the 1928. And uh, that ran, these services ran well into the 1980s, I think. I'm trying to think when Calmac was formed, because it was Caledonian McBrain. It was, uh, and then it became Calmac. It was the Caledonian Steam Packet Company. And they had beautiful steamships, the Duchess of Montrose, the Duchess of Hamilton, the Marchioness of Graham. The, uh, what else did we have on there? Oh, just so many fabulous boats. Uh, the Queen Mary II. And they bought LNER, the London and North Eastern Railway. So that was things like the Waverley, yeah? And the Waverley is still in our LNER colours. And LNER, I think, ran the, the Flying Scotsman, didn't they? So the railway is coordinated with the boat, so we had a transport policy under the Scottish Transport Group. Now, the Loch Fine was a diesel-electric setup. <coughs> Your diesel engines driving electric uh, direct drive. Davy Paxman direct drive, and then the Loch Fine got new engines and 1951, and British Polar Diesels from Govan. Fantastic, British Polar Engines, super. <coughs> I helped with a vibration problem because Denny of Dumbarton built quite light hulls for speed. Makes complete sense. Wonderful company. And then you had the big ones like the St. Columba, the turbine steamers, the St. Columba, the ex-Queen Alexandra. The King George V. She ran well into the 1970s, as did the Queen Mary II. So there you are, you see. So I think it was to do with planning. I was very close <coughs> to very senior people in McBrain's. And a lot of the job is planning. So you take a vessel like the old paddle steamer, the Columba, she was built in 1878, and she ran until 1936. <coughs> Sorry, voice is going. So how long is that? 58 years. But the lifespan of a modern ferry is about 25 years. Now, the longer you keep these vessels the higher the maintenance bill. So we need more planning. Right here.